Zbit Yogo. This Zbit Yogo is awesome. For me, it was the best, best object in the whole museum, or the one which I like the most. Dear friends of the New Open Art and Culture, this is Ingo from About Africa and the Rest of the World. And yes, I was with the German Association of the Friends of African Culture in the Lutherstadt Wittenberg to see the Julius Riemer collections. Yes, and let's, let's start with uh, one of the his best objects in the whole museum, this great, very old Uli sculpture. I don't know what it would cost on the market, maybe a million euro or whatever, but this is an amazing thing. You know, this is in the basement. The main uh, collection is, I think, in the second floor, but here's the basement. There's one point, yes, there, it's a lot of reflecting with here, but, but okay. But this is an amazing object. Look like the hands are. And yes, you really can fall in love with it. And so did the cameraman. Here you see the small head there. And you know, Julius Riemer had a lot of interest, for example, here in this Nazca mummies, three of them. And you know, normally it's not allowed to film in the museum. I get the permission to do so. It was a big exception. This exception, this is of course not a real head. This is not a real man head or, or human skull. So, but I got the, ex the exception to film and so it was very great and thanks a lot. And here's some Amazonas objects. Once again, it's a broad, broad interest of this the Julius Riemer and more Amazonas objects. You know, Riemer died 1958 and that means he collected until 1958, but later his wife collect still collected and they got a lot of objects from other museums from the uh, German Federal Republic. And so they could have a lot of things there. And I think this is Australia. Australia too. So we have Nasdaq, we have South Sea, we have Australia. So it's a very, very broad thing. A lot of things there, mostly before 1958, some for 90, a lot of for before 1940, but some were maybe a little younger as well. But it's great. Look at the amazing things. I would like to have that one of this here. Okay, so now we're in the Papua New Guinea section, of course, with objects and objects. You see, the shelves are full with objects. You know, there are a lot of ethnographic, but it is interesting to see them and he, they collect everything, but they do only show a small uh, piece of the object they do have. They had a lot of things more and here. Yeah. And it, it should, it must not always be wood. Other materials are good as well. And you see you a lot of objects and more and more in this show cases. And uh, yeah, here's a nice Papua New Guinea uh, thing, headrest. And I think this is, this is Tommy, I guess. Let's say it's Tommy. <laughs> Maybe other more, more, more than I. And yeah, the mirrors, they are reflecting, but it's nice. I love this, this whole shield written there. And yeah, it's, Great, you see the head here in the middle and good carving. It is a good carving. There's a neck, neck rest and uh, what's here, yeah. <laughs> I think maybe this sometimes it's, yeah, you see it, it's, I don't say anything about it. So once again, it, it should be one of the four great museum, museums of the German Federated, uh, German Demokratische Republik, or what it was called, <laughs> yeah, then Axis. And yeah, but, uh, now it's just one floor in a städtisches in, in the museum of the städtische Sammlungen im Zeughaus here in Lutherstadt Wittenberg. And yeah, you see, I think you, there are fans for these objects, of course, and you can find them sometimes on, on sales and auctions. And nice, I, I love these these animals. Look at this nice pick on the right side. It's a hey, focus, focus, isn't it right pick? But once again, you know, it's reflecting. You can see the objects with the look with your eyes better if uh, compared to if you make photos. And here's some some hooks. You know, there's a big book by Danny Blau and uh, more of these books. And uh, <laughs> it's more things and more on Papua New Guinea. I think we're still in Papua New Guinea in the South Sea and uh, more of these South Sea objects. And you say it's full, but it's worth being there and look, watching at these objects. I think, we, you know, this is the back from, and you know, there are dozens of objects and objects. And then you see this great Korva sculpture and you say, 
Wow, this is a great cover sculpture. Yes, it is a great cover sculpture. Though. So they have a mix of, of everything. And they even have the one of those, which, you know, there was this fantastic book, which I made a review. Here's a Masim Club in the front, and then there's a Tami bowl, I think, in the back. It is good. Here, yeah, I like this boat. I think this is from the Bismarck Archipel, or the Archipel, or whatever it, it's called. The Bismarck Archipel which was German a long, long time ago. It was a German colony a long, long time ago. And here is here yeah, from New Ireland. This is one of those objects too. This cock thing, it's... And, and the Papua New Guinea thing, object in the middle and the right are great as well. This is amazing. You have some Malagan objects as well. But once again, yo, it was not easy to film it here. More Malagan. So you have some world class objects there. It's interesting. Look at this. The nose of this mask, which is very, very nice and very good. And yeah, I think it's more. And yeah, I think it's something for the, for the expert. The expert can come and, and watch and look at it and say, oh, this is great. Ooh. <laughs> when look at this big I think it's a hook here, the big hook here. It's I think it's an amazing one. Yeah, for me it's a good one. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. But we have not only Papua New Guinea, but we have what else? This bit yoga. This bit yoga is awesome. For me it was the best, best object in the whole museum, or the one which I like the most. Look at the face. They are they are rare. I saw one at the collection of Udo Hostman. And I, he told, and and uh, you see, Tala, you know, with the curator has come on, told me that he is. They have more Bijogo objects than this one, more Bijogo dolls than this one in the collection. Though it's Bijogo was amazing, but the Kamon one is nice it's too. Maybe it's made in 1930, 1920, 1930, and a coat. I think this is loaned from other museum, but it's a very good coat. It's a fantastic coat. So you see, you have. Everything there, even such great. Kota here, you have some Papua New Guinea hats there, the skulls for them. Here is number four. There are some fans for this kind of uh, objects. And what we have then is here, <laughs> an Egypt section with a great sarcophagus. It's a good one, looks great, good painting. The drawings here yeah, you can sit and look at it for a long time it's amazing objects and really in it there is still a mummy you see it here but as i heard they found out that the mummy here you see the head yeah the mummy the head of the mask does not belong to the sarcophagus so i don't know who was inside but whatever and <laughs> let's see here's oh the cameraman yes he liked this thing too yeah, and we have, at the, I think at the end now, nearly at the end, we have more Egypt objects there. Let's see here, some animal mummies as well, which are really old, and some more Egyptian objects here, yeah, like a pendant and, and um, mask and uh, a shepti at the end. So, I hope you had some fun. See you next time, and bye.